about this. Outside the studio today, we have the Knight Robot. Highly stable, very strong, easy to use, all terrain robot, weighs 700 pounds, so big we couldn't get in the studio. It detects and disarms bombs from a safe distance. Joining me now is the former bomb technician and bomb squad commander for the Seattle Police Force, Jim Hansen, who is with WM Robots. Is that the kind of robot that they were using to get inside the house in San Bernardino? It's of a type, but it is not the same robot that they were using. They were using a different manufacturer. Okay. Um, you've got, there's got to be strong demand for this robot at this particular time with the security threat around the country. You've got to be uh, in demand. Well, there is a demand, a continuing demand. Um, an interesting fact is that all bomb squads in the United States are required to have a hazardous duty robot in their equipment inventory. It's a, it's a national requirement. Um, and how much does that one cost, the one that we can see out there? That one is around $220,000. How many have you sold? You know, I'm fairly new with the company, but we have uh, probably a couple of dozens uh, around the states and around the world. Okay, Ashley Webster is outside. I believe you're standing near to that robot. I am, Stuart. In fact, uh, this, is, this is my bag. There's a cheese sandwich in there, which is, could be very dangerous. Um, this particular model, not only can it go on the defense to look for explosives, but it also has fittings for shotguns, grenade launchers. It also can go on the attack. And when you look at it from a distance, it kind of looks like a dog with the uh, antenna on the back as the tail. But the maneuverability, the versatility of this machine is really quite remarkable. I'm standing by Mark here, who's doing all of the controls. Uh, it's got seven different cameras on it, so it can get a very good view. And obviously, from a safety point of view, Stuart, this is what you'd much rather be sending in than a human. No, Ashley, did you say that it has an offensive capacity? Well, can you put a machine gun on the thing? You could. There's really? uh, two silver rods on the front there, which you could be uh, fitted with um, uh, shotguns, a grenade launcher. So, you know, this is, this is a machine that does it all, as they say. And, uh, yes, if, uh, if it goes into a dangerous situation, it can actually defend itself and go on the attack. Uh, back to Jim in Seattle. Jim, tell me again. I missed it. How much does that thing cost? We're quoting $220,000 currently. It sounds like that's negotiable, is it? <laughs> well, it, it depends on the equipment that you decide to outfit it with. I think you're onto a winning product, Jim. I really do, because uh, those things are going to be in demand. All right, Jim Hansen, thanks very much indeed. Ashley, you are released. You can have your bag back. All right, everybody. <laughs>